Hi kiddos, Mrs. Cleary here. So we are moving right along to um, chapter two in our social studies textbook, and that would be page 20. So go ahead and open up to that and we're gonna go through the next two pages together. So this is what page 20 looks like. It's kind of an intro to the unit and it's got this amazing picture. So we're gonna analyze the picture a little bit. Oh, and two dogs. All right, cool. So take a minute to see what you notice about this picture. I see a lot of nature behind this man. His clothing looks interesting. His dogs look interesting because ours in our lives don't usually carry things strapped to them. So we're going to learn about all this awesome, all the awesome resources that this man is utilizing. All right, so if you look up here, let me get my little highlighter tool. Okay, this first picture here, this is a zoom of this spot on this man right here, his hand, his right hand. So if you look at the picture and then slide to the right, it says, what might this have been used for and how was it made? So that is a tool of some kind. I'm sure you guys can recognize it when you see the skinny string right there, but I'm thinking it's a bow and arrow. And you're gonna wonder what um, material it was made out of and what this man might have used it for. And then let's take a look at the next pictures of the one of the dogs. What might this dog be carrying? So let's make some inferences there on what he might have on his back. Doing great service for the man, carrying something important. Okay, and then last picture, what type of animal skin might this coat be made from? And that's a zoom in right here of this guy's left side. So it looks very fuzzy. All right, let me turn this off. All right, so that is the first picture of our unit. So let's read about it then and find out the answers to our questions. So now go over to page 21, Native Americans and their land. This is section 2.1, okay. In this chapter, you will learn about Native Americans, the first people to live in North America. You will learn where Native Americans came from, where they chose to live, and why they established different ways of life. Most Native Americans tell origin stories to explore where they came from. In this chapter, you will read one of these stories. And if anybody remembers from last year, we discussed origin stories in social studies last year, um, oral stories, things like that, to pass on um, information or tales um, or safety precautions from uh, generation to generation. All right, so we will be reading one of these in this chapter. Another idea about the origin of Native Americans is the theory of migration. Scientists believe that Native Americans first migrated or moved into the Americas from the continent of Asia thousands of years ago. Over hundreds of years, they followed several migration routes into different parts of the Americas. So notice we're getting into our vocab words now, the ones that are highlighted in red. Native Americans migrated into many different environments. You will read about four of the environments in which they lived. One of these, the ice fields of the Arctic, was home to the Inuit people. You will discover how these Native Americans learned to adapt or adjust to that environment. Have you ever looked through the zoom lens of a camera? A zoom lens lets you look more closely at the parts of the scene. The drawing below shows how reading this chapter is like looking through a zoom lens. You will begin with a view of Native Americans' migration to North America. Then you will zoom in on four environments in, in North America. Finally, you will take a close-up look at how the Inuit adapted to life in the Arctic. And I don't know if you've heard the term Inuit before, um, but we also know it as, oh my gosh, I'm drawing a blank, Eskimos. <laughs> It's right on the tip of my tongue. So you'll see that, but that's going to be one of your vocab words when we get into our next packet too. So let's take a look then um, at this picture. And this is going to be, kind of gives you an idea visually of what's gonna happen in our minds when we start with an overall look over here of 
where they migrated from, where they came from, where they went, the routes that they took over the many hundreds of years. Then we're gonna use that zoom lens to zoom over and look at the four different environments that the Inuit people had to adapt to when they moved to these new environments. And then you're gonna zoom in even further and look at one specifically, one at a time and look at the details of how they lived and the resources they used and the creative ways they had to come up with different ways of doing things and use different materials before. And I believe that's it. Yep, that is 2.2. So that is it for 2.1, guys. And we'll dive more into this when we see you in class. Bye.